if you can see it in the background, but we've excavated here on our property and we're gonna start building our house. Um, this will be a new video series that we're gonna call Build Your Own House One Dollar at a Time. And this has been a long time, I mean a long time in the making. Um, we bought this property four years ago and it has taken us a lot of time to clear the property, pull stumps, burn slash, open up access and driveways and and make room to get in here to get through house plans, engineering, permitting, and and design to get to a point where we could excavate for this plan uh, for a house plan that we finally decided on. We, we had a house plan that we really really liked and but we couldn't make that work on this site. That's something to consider is that not not every house plan out there will fit on your property or works well on your property. So had a plan, spent a lot of money, couldn't make that house plan work on this property. In fact, that other house plan was for a different piece of property. We, we tried to, to put that round peg in this square hole and just couldn't get it done. So moved away from that new house plan that's that's it's well suited for this type of a site um, as you can see behind us there's quite a bit of, of excavation we'll end up with with 10 foot uh, stem walls and and that is what it required to get down onto native ground we'll be talking more about footings and foundation as we get into this we'll be talking about French drains and water drainage systems around this foundation the objective is to to get the foundation in to get the underground plumbing in to get the french drain and all the waterproofing in and get it backfilled and then we'll put it to bed insulate the the floors in the garage and and in the in the in the basement and then be able to come back in the in the spring and order a lumber package and go to work and have all summer to to get four walls and a roof on this get it dried in before next winter uh, 12 months from now and then we could start to work uh, year-round inside working on those interior systems whatever they might be plumbing electrical HVAC and finishing out the inside of the house so this is going to be a kind of a, a slow series that'll be kind of slow and go um, this will be here on on the essential mountain homesteading channel and we'll we'll be busy in this series as we as we rush to get this done before the snow flies and then we'll take some time off in the winter and when then spring comes around we'll get busy making videos uh, about framing and and lay the framing and wall layouts and timber framing and trusses and and those types of things as we start to put this house together so um, getting excited about finally moving forward and starting to build on this I'm I'm actually more excited about the carpentry stuff I really enjoy all of the the framing timber framing stuff so we can get this concrete stuff out of the way and the earthwork stuff out of the way then we can get to the fun stuff um, so stick around there's going to be a lot more videos on that we'll get into the house plans we'll get into the, the site layout and and some of the 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 factors that drove the decisions that we made I don't know if you can see it but here behind me one of the things that we really struggled with on the excavation of this uh, this this house is the rock there's a lot of rock now rock is a great thing you want to build your house on the rock you don't want to be on clay or other softer soils that might move but it meant doing a lot of scratching and a, a lot of rough digging to get through this rock and get this this basement floor opened up at a grade that was consistently on native ground 
the natural soils here had kind of come in and and rolled off and we wanted to put a house kind of into the side of that hill which is why we had to dig down get through that 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 softer stuff on top and down into the rock um, which is also what kind of drove some of the decisions on the house plans for um, finding a plan that was small enough compact enough to fit here um, the original house plan that we really liked was really long and laid out and it was kind of all on one level and no stairs and and it was a design that worked really good if we were building in a hay field but building on this hill we have great views there's lots of trees there's tons of privacy but it's created some challenges in the build we had to go away from that house plan and find one that was took all of that floor space and kind of stacked it up um, which which makes it a lot more um, I, I think in the end um, I want to say that 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 I think that that building on a single plane in a lot of ways can be less expensive than stacking a house basement main floor upstairs and the reason for that is is that you run into challenges like rock and the excavation for the basement and additional concrete and bigger footings and some of these things that create additional charges now typically if you're just stacking square footage um, basement main floor upstairs under one roof you're saving on the roof size um, but you might be spending on the foundation costs and excavation costs and site development costs so there's a lot to consider as you look at house plans and you look at sites and and what it might cost to build in those places there is a lot to consider um, and I would I'd like to get into a video that's probably just specific to that is, is we'll take maybe two pieces of property two house plans and then go through that and look at the costs associated with those two house plans but we got a house plan that we like it fits on this site but it meant hammering through a whole bunch of rock to make this work we also end up with a walkout basement but that meant that on that back wall in order to get those footings down below the frost level it it required additional excavation and it's going to require some additional uh, height in the walls to make it all work. 